Hello everyone. In this video, we're gonna look at the properties of logarithms, and this is the first part. Let's take the first property right here. We call this as the power rule. So the power rule states that log of x to the exponent p to the base b is actually equal to p log of x to the base b. Now notice this. Anytime we have an exponent, this exponent can be uh, rewritten as a coefficient of the whole lo log expression. So the p becomes the coefficient of this whole log expression right here. So let's take this first example. 5 log of x to the base 3 can be written as, so we do it backwards. So this 5 is actually, since this is a coefficient of the whole log expression, this is actually an exponent of the x. So then I can go ahead and write this as, that's going to be log of x to the fifth power to the to the base three or we can go ahead and rewrite this as log of x to the fifth to the base three it doesn't really matter these two are just equivalent equations now let's move on to the next one right here log of five to the power seven to the base two so how do we rewrite this Again, we remember that if we want to rewrite this, this exponent becomes the coefficient of the whole log expression. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this as 7 log of 5 to the base 2. So these two are equivalent, and these two are equivalent, these two are also equivalent, and then these two e expressions are also equivalent. So that is what we call as the power rule of logarithm. Now let's have the next rule right here. We call this as the product rule. So the product rule states that if we have log of x times y to the base b, we can actually expand it. That's actually the sum of the log of x to the base b plus log of y to the base b. So anytime we have multiplication, we're going to split them into two uh, log expressions and we're going to add them together. So in this problem that we have here, we do it backwards. Since we have log of 5 to the base 7 plus log of 3 to the base 7, I can go ahead and rewrite this as log of that's going to be, I will multiply these two together just like how I did it over here. X times Y is XY. So then this is log of 15 to the base 7. So this is the condensed version. Condensed means we put them all together. We collapse it as one a logarithmic expression. So I multiplied 5 times 3 and that's 15. Now we do it uh, the other way around. So if we have log of 8 to the base 3, so I can go ahead and expand this. Expand means we stretch it. We're going to have two uh, logs. So this can be rewritten as log of, that's I can have a uh, log of 4 to the base 3 plus log of 2 to the base 3, so that if I multiply 4 and 2, that gives me 8. Now, others are going to say, can we have a lot of combinations here? Yes, we can. So, if I have this log right here, you tell me what the x is. Okay, so what do you think is our x value for this problem that's log of 16 to the base 3 plus log of x to the base 3 again our target just like how we did it over here 4 times 2 that gives us 8 so then what number do we multiply to 16 which is x that would give us 8 so that number would be 0 0.5 so our x here is 0 0.5 so i'm just gonna write that here on the side so the x value that we have here is 0 0.5. So that if we multiply log of 16 plus log of uh, 0 0.5 to both of them to the base 3, that gives us 8. Or 16 times 0 0.5 is 8. Now try this next problem right here. Determine the x. Okay. So what do you have for x on this? Okay, so we need to determine what number do we multiply to 6.4 in such a way that we get an 8. And that number, x, is actually equal to 1.25. So if we multiply 1.25 and 6.4, that would give us 8. So that's how we find the um, x. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. 
Perfect. Now let's move on to the next one right here, the quotient rule. So the quotient rule tells us that if we have log of x over y to the base b, we are going to expand it. But this time around, instead of adding, since that's division, we're going to subtract them. So that would be log of x to the base b minus log of y to the base b. Now let's take these two examples right here. We are going to condense. Condense means we're going to collapse it as one logarithmic expression. So since this is a subtraction, we're going to divide it. So this is pretty much like the x, and this is pretty much like the y. Again, that's the x, and that's the y. So then if we set it up, that would be... Again, our x is 21, and our y is 3. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this as log that's to the base 8. And this is actually log of Okay, now let's try the next one right here. Log of seven to the base five minus log of six to the base five. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this as log of our x is seven. So that's seven over six to the base five. So then we can just keep it like this since we can't um, anymore, uh, we can't reduce this, so that's it. So the first one was log of seven to the base eight and the second one was log of seven to the base, log of seven over six to the base five. Now let's have the next one right here. So since we have log of 12, we're supposed to expand this. So this is supposed to be um, expand. Okay, so when we wanna expand this, what are we gonna do is we are going to have those factors of 12 and then we subtract them to each other. So I can go ahead and rewrite this as, that's gonna be log of So if I divide 12 divided by one is 12. Now I'd like you to determine the X on this one. Okay, please determine the X on this. Okay, so what have you got? So what are we gonna do here is that if we have 12 divided by one is 12, now what number do we, Put here so that if we divide it by 2, it gets to 12. So that number would be 24. So our x here is 24. So that if we divide 24 divided by 2 is 12. Now try this next problem right here. So what have you got for the x? So what number when we divide 60 by x that gives us 12? So that number is five. So x is five. Did you get five for this uh, problem right here? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next property of logarithm. It's the change of base rule. So the change of base uh, says that if we have log of x to the base b, that is actually equal to log of x over log of b. So if we wanna um, evaluate this using the change of base rule, we can go ahead and rewrite this as first, we determine what the x and what the b is. This is our x, which match matches seven and the b matches three. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this as, that's gonna be, Okay, so that's gonna be log of seven over log of three. So just like how we did over here, log of x over log of b. Now try this next one right here, we do it backwards. Okay, so what have you got on this? So then we can go ahead and simplify this as one log logarithmic expression. That's gonna be log of five, to the base nine. So these two are just the same. So they can go uh, back and forth. So these two ex uh, expressions can go back and forth. So if we wanna uh, change this, or if we wanna have one logarithmic expression for this, that would be log of five to the base nine. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. 
Perfect. Now let's move on to the next property right here, equality rule. So if log of x to the base b is equal to log of y to the base b, if both of their bases of these two logarithmic expressions are the same, both are b, then x is equal to y. Again, this x and y can only be equal if both bases are the same. So let's take this next example right here. Log of x to the base 5 is equal to log of 3 to the base 5. So both of them have um, 5 as their basis. So then our x is 3. Now try these next two problems right here on your own. Okay, so what have you got? So for this one right here, the, since both bases are the same, so our m here is 7. And in this next problem right here, since both are 8 and both are, um, they both have the same value, 8 and 8, so that means that our b here is actually the same as the base on the uh, right side of the logarithmic equation, which is 9. Did you get 7 and 9 as your answer to these two problems right here? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!